the Taylor Swift hype. Can someone please explain to me just what the hell is going on? What's up with this Taylor Swift hype? We just had Super Bowl 58. Uh, the Chiefs won against the 49ers 25-22. They went into overtime. Now, mind you, I'm not a football fan, and I'm only relaying this because my dad watched it, and I was just in the room and just so happened to notice. And, of course, my Facebook feed, every post from other friends on my Facebook was football, 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 football. I fucking hate football. Couldn't avoid it even if I tried. Well, I guess I could have avoided it. I could have stayed on Facebook. However, I was also on Facebook to uh, communicate with friends through Messenger. But anyway, that's beside the point. The Taylor Swift hype, I am trying to understand it. A lot of my friends are annoyed with it, and I'm starting to see why they're annoyed with it. Because, truth be told, I'm getting fucking annoyed with it. Um, and this is not a personal attack against Taylor Swift as a human being. I'm sure she's a good person. I'm sure that her ex-boyfriends, you know, <laughs> appreciated the time they had with her. I mean, she has written most of her songs about failed relationships and breakups, which is not a good thing considering that she's a going to be a 35-year-old woman writing about high school drama. I mean, come on. Uh, young girls idolize her. They look up to her, which may not be a good thing because she's not really a good role model for young people. As many boyfriends as she's had, and then she just, when, when she has a breakup with them, she'll write a song about it. And if I was Travis Kelsey... I would run as fast as I fucking can, dude. Because when she breaks up with you or you break up with her or however that's going to shake out, she's going to come out with another breakup song and it's going to be about you, bro. So um, <laughs> when that happens, it's going to be a touchdown for her. All pun intended. But listen, I don't understand the Taylor Swift hype. At first... I was like, okay, every generation has their their pop star that, that is idolized by young people. I mean, when my mom and dad were growing up, there was Elvis, there were the Beatles, um, the Rolling Stones, Bobby Sherman, um, you know, Annette Funicello and Margaret Twiggy, uh, Goldie Hawn was a, was a symbol back in the day. I mean, there were a lot of young people who idolized people like that, big names. So every generation has symbols and teen idols and things like that. So I totally get that. However, Taylor Swift is not new. She's not exclusive. But this this glorification, this hype, just meanders on and on and on and on. And I can understand why people get annoyed and frustrated with it because I'm now trying to figure out what is so great about this girl that they just, I mean, all the cameras are on her. She gets a lot of press. She gets a lot of publicity. I don't get it. Someone in the comment section below maybe perhaps can shed some light on this because I'm over it, dude. She's not that great, you know. Um, I, I don't understand the whole obsession with her. Now, again, I'm not a football fan, but I did see the halftime show and Usher come out there. Can anyone say narcissist? Um, Alicia Keys, I think, was there. Now, I like Reba McIntyre. She wasn't in the halftime report, but she was at the beginning of the show because uh, Post Malone, Dad thought, it was Jelly Roll. It's actually Post Malone. Um, I like Reba. I've always been a fan of Reba. I love Reba. She performed the national anthem. She sounded great. Um, I've always been a fan of Reba McIntyre. Love Reba. But the Taylor Swift hype is beyond my understanding. It's beyond my comprehension. Somebody out there in YouTube land has to know what the fuck is going on with this Taylor Swift phenomenon. Um, Please, uh, shed some light on this in the comments section below, and I'd love to read what you have to say about it. Thanks a lot.